Hello guys! I know that some of you already expected the vlog from Estonia and Porsche Ring, but all I can show you for now is my rear tire after the race. Or to be exact, what is left of it. Uh, but I promise you I will upload the part one of this vlog the next week. Uh, but for now, to be completely honest with you, I never thought that this day will come so quickly that I will have to say goodbye to my Suzuki so soon. Uh, the plan for this year was to always keep improving myself on the track. And at this point, I saw that I reached the maximum of what I can do with this bike. Uh, and if I want to be any faster or of course safer, I have to invest quite a lot in it. And I think it's just not worth it anymore. Uh, so with the huge shake in my heart, I will have to sell it. Uh, but more exciting news is that I already got myself a new bike. I think it's not a surprise anymore because you already saw it in the title. But we came back to where we started. Everybody knows that Ducati is definitely my dream bike, but why I chose V2 instead of V4 is because I think V4 is still way too powerful for me and I wouldn't feel ready for it yet on the track. Uh, another good thing is that uh, V2 is way much smaller in size, quite similar to Suzuki, so that's good. And it also has uh, a lot of aids similar to V4, such as uh, sliding control, uh, engine braking, traction control, ABS, and etc. I already tried this bike on the streets, and all I can say is that my first test ride was just horrible. The bike was shaking a lot on the lower speed and also the body position. Ugh, it was super uncomfortable. But of course, I have to keep in mind that this kind of bike was made mostly for the track. So on the higher speed, it gets uh, more comfortable and also stops shaking. Uh, comparing the power of Suzuki and V2, I think it's quite similar because Jixxer 750 has 110 kilowatts and V2 has 115, uh, but it has more torque from lower revs, which is good for exiting the corners. Another thing I saw is that it still needs suspension adjustments because on the higher speed on the corners, it was all wobbly. But the bad thing is that because of the weather, our training gets canceled all the time. So I just hope that until uh, my next race in Slovakia, which will be in two weeks, I will be able to try it out on the track. And another good thing is that in a couple of weeks, uh, there will be Donny Racing track days, where should be open track and me and my teammates will be able to adjust everything without no rush. And of course, with the help of professionals and talking about the event, it should be quite an awesome one. So if you want to read more about it, I will leave the link in the description below uh, and maybe we will meeting there but for now thank you Dave Moss uh, who helps me all the way from US uh, with the suspension adjustments like basic ones uh, for the track uh, so it's very good uh, place to start with uh, but yeah so from now on you will see a lot of content with Ducati I just hope that I'm not doing the mistake uh, because as you already know uh, my Suzuki is my cup of tea I know that bike uh, to the bits and also V2 is also all stock uh, so I just hope that I'm not doing the mistake uh, but of course for now the moment of silence and appreciation to my journey with Suzuki made a decision and this bike is already mine
I was making this clip yesterday and I started crying. So you can definitely imagine how I'm feeling. Uh, I think I will be sobbing when I have to sell this bike for someone. I just hope that it will go to good hands and someone will take care of it as much as I did. Uh, but for now, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Also comment down below. What do you think about this change? Uh, also follow me on all social media, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and as always, kisses. Bye.